Hey everybody, it's Jeremy from Speak Gear, and we're here in my kitchen, and I'm going to show you how to fillet a perch. Yellow perch are one of the tastiest of all freshwater fish. The only problem is they're pretty small, unless you catch the big ones, which is what I'm usually doing. But today we caught some average sizers just so that we could have a uh, family cookout. So let's get started. Okay, first thing you need is perch. Let me get one. Second thing you're going to need is a knife. Uh, you can use a regular fillet knife or you can use an electric fillet knife and that's what I'm using today because it goes much quicker. All right. First step is that we're going to cut from behind this fin, behind the gills and down to the backbone without cutting through the backbone. Now we're going to cut along the backbone without going through it all the way to the tail. But we're going to stop when we get here. And this is the trick that I was taught by an old man out on the ice one day. Now we have a way to hold on to uh, that piece, that fillet. So the next step is I'm going to cut. I'll flip this around here. I'm going to cut uh, behind these ribs down to the skin. All right, now I can cut this fillet off and I don't have to pinch and hold on to that skin. There you go. One fillet. Now you just flip the fish over and do the exact same thing to the other side. Behind the fin, behind the gills, down to the backbone, along the backbone. Not all the way through the tail. Flip it. Cut where the ribs are. And there's your filet. Now we're going to flip it right off. I'm going to cut around the ribs. And then I'm going to cut this fillet right off the skin. One more fillet. All right. Now we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side.
So those are the steps I usually use to fillet a perch. Now you have to repeat that over and over for as many perch as you put in your bucket. That's why I don't recommend you catching and keeping too many perch. Otherwise you'll be filleting perch all night. All right, after we've filleted the perch, I like to rinse them off in salt water and then rinse them off in the faucet. Then what we need to do is lay them all out on a paper towel so that they can dry because we don't want them wet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pat these dry Now what we can do is store these in the freezer or we can store them temporarily if we're going to be eating them right away. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to eat those tomorrow out on the ice. We're going to store these perch in a Ziploc bag until we get out on the ice tomorrow. If you're going to store them long term in the freezer, there are two trains of thought. One is you can freeze them in freezer bags with water. I also like to put a little bit of lemon in the water. You can also make sure that they're perfectly dry and get all the air out of a freezer bag or use a vacuum sealer. So there you have it. That's how you take perch from the lake to the freezer. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.